Boost your English. Mastering adverb formation with suffixes. Hello, English language learners. In today's session, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of adverbs, but more specifically, we'll focus on how we form adverbs using common suffixes. If you've been finding this area a bit tricky, don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll be much more confident. Let's get started. Before we delve into our practice exercises, let's do a quick recap. A suffix is a letter or group of letters added at the end of a word to change its meaning. In English, we often use suffixes to change adjectives into adverbs. For instance, the suffix li can change an adjective into an adverb. We convert quick, an adjective, into quickly, an adverb, by adding the suffix li. In our first exercise, we're going to identify adverbs in sentences. I'll provide a sentence, and you'll need to spot the adverbs. For example, in the sentence, she quickly ran to the store, the adverb is quickly. Here are your sentences. 1. He answered the question correctly. 2. She sings beautifully. 3. The dog barks loudly. Take your time. Pause the video if you need more time, and when you're ready, resume the video for the answers. Now, let's form some adverbs. I'll give you an adjective, and your task is to add the appropriate suffix to turn it into an adverb. Here are the adjectives. 1. Happy. 2. Tough. 3. Extreme. Again, pause the video here if you need more time, and resume when you're ready for the answers. The final exercise for today is using adverbs in sentences. I will provide you with an adverb, and you will need to construct a sentence using that adverb. The adverbs are 1. Quietly 2. Rapidly 3. Easily This one might be a little more challenging, so don't hesitate to pause the video to give yourself some extra thinking time. Well done for working through those exercises. Practice is the key to mastering adverbs, so keep going over these exercises until you feel comfortable. Remember, adverbs are a vital part of English language mastery, and knowing how to use them effectively will make your English sound more natural and fluent. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing. Until next time, happy learning!